Hello everyone, welcome to this video. And in this video I'm going to show you how you can fix if the Timo app is not working. So if the Timo app is not working, then here are five easy ways in order to fix it. So by not working, we basically mean not opening, not noting, it just keeps on crashing, just something wrong with the app. So the, basically the first way in order to fix most of the issues you are literally just having with the app is just making sure that you have a strong Wi-Fi connection. If you have a really weak Wi-Fi connection, then sometimes the Timo app will just not open, it will crash because the Timo app does actually need Wi-Fi or cellular mode, of course. So the first thing is just making sure that you have Wi-Fi connection. If you've tried that and it's still not working, then I would just recommend going into the app store because we're going to check if the Timo app maybe does need an update. Date. If you have not updated the app for a really long time, then this could cause some issues with your uh, iOS and basically the Timo app just not running parallel. So just make sure that the Timo app is updated, just click on it and then just make sure that it's updated to the latest version. They will also fix bugs in those versions. So yeah, it's just really good in order to actually update that version to the latest version. So once you've done that and it's still not working, you're still having issues, is what we might want to do right now is just head over into settings on our iPhone or Android. And what we're going to do is we are going to clear the cache of our Timo app. So in order to do this, head over into general, iPhone storage. Once you've done that, basically scroll down till you find the Timo app. So I'm going to quickly scroll down to find it. I have quite a lot of apps as you guys can see, but mine is right here. Then on Android, you will simply have this clear cache button. On the iPhone, we don't, we do have an offload app button. So on Android, just click on that clear cache button and you're good to go. And it should probably fix the issue. Now on the iPhone, just click on offload app. It will hard reset the app and then just reinstall back again using this exact same page. And basically it will just hard reset the app. All your documents and data will be saved over on your device. So don't worry about that. It will basically be like a clear cache button. And yeah, then basically it should fix the issue for you. It fixes a lot of issues basically with the Timo app. So yeah, I would recommend doing that. Now, if that is still not working, then the fourth thing you might just want to try and do is that maybe your entire phone just needs a quick reset. So what you can simply do is just hold down the power button and the volume up button over on your iPhone and just restart your phone. And on Android, it should be the same. Just restart your phone, should it take more than a few minutes, and then you will be able to open the Timo app again, and maybe this has just fixed the issue for you. If it still has not fixed the issue for you, then unfortunately what you may need to do is just reinstalling the entire Timo app. So this is quite a hassle because if you need to install uh, reinstall the app, you will also be able to, uh, and basically you need to log uh, back into your Timo account and all your documents and data will not be saved. All your widgets will also be gone. So keep that in mind. However, reinstalling an app most of the time literally just fixes 99.9% .9 of all the problems you are having with the app. So yeah, that is the last fix I would recommend. And there are basically the five easiest ways in order to fix any issue you are having with any app, including the Timo app so yeah if you learned something from this video then just please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel and i hope i will see you in my next youtube tutorial video